Hey everybody, Matt Dickens here, talking about vectored interrupts. Microchip has recently implemented vectored interrupts on our PIC 18 k 42 family of microcontrollers. This gave us a good opportunity to create a closer look video to understand the advantages vectored interrupts provide. Each K42 device uses an interrupt vector table, rather than one or two interrupt vectors. Each entry in the table corresponds to a peripheral that can use an interrupt. In this way, the associated interrupt service routine, or ISR, is automatically executed instead of the CPU polling which interrupt flag has occurred and then calling the appropriate ISR and software. This is useful for a variety of reasons. First, it saves time. It only takes three system clock cycles from interrupt trigger to entering the ISR. Because the majority of the process is accomplished by hardware, the system is faster and decreases the likelihood of software error. Second, the first address of the vector table can be changed, which allows the users to change the memory area in which the vector table is stored. For example, if a user would rather use a separate vector table for a bootloader application, they can either move the table or create a new table somewhere else in the memory. Just make sure that the new base address can fit the entire vector table in the program memory. So, in review, let's see what we've covered. The K42 family of the PIC18 devices allows you to expedite interrupt usage with vectored interrupts. They allow the CPU to know exactly which peripheral the interrupt comes from once a flag has been triggered, and use pointers in the vector table to save CPU cycles. This increases speed and accuracy when using many interrupts at one time. Matt Dickens here saying thanks for watching and happy coding. <laughs>